I have another video for you all. This is going to be a tutorial on my makeup look for today. Today's actually Christmas, so Merry Christmas, Happy Christmas. I just wanted to do a get ready with me video and then also do a new tutorial as well. Um, so I kind of just played around with some colors. This is definitely the perfect like New Year's Eve look or every day or whatever. I love this look. I used to do this a lot um, in high school and like 8th grade in middle school when I was playing around with makeup first. Um, I just really like it because it is a very wearable color but you can also like make it really like BAM like I don't know like hello I'm wearing lots of makeup or something I don't know yeah so I really like this look I want to show I just straightened my hair since this is a get ready with me and then I have this like really long it's like an ugly sweater dress but it's Santa Claus so I got it as like a joke as well as, oh, I'm gonna wear that on Christmas because you can get away with anything on Christmas, so. But yeah, if you want to see how to achieve this look, then keep on watching. So the first thing I'm doing is priming my eyes with the Benefit Air Patrol. And from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Eye Palette, I'm taking the Lazarus Eyeshadow and I'm using that as my transition color. Then I'm taking my MAC pigment in Silver Fog and I'm just going to spray some MAC Fix Plus on the brush and then I'm just going to put that in the inner half of my eye and yeah, uh, the MAC Fix Plus just makes the color really pop out and it makes it last a lot longer during the day um, and here I'm just spraying a little more. Then I'm taking my MAC eyeshadow from their newest holiday collection in No Taboos and I'm going to put that on the outer half of my eye and I'm going to spray that with MAC Fi Fix Plus as well. I'm taking my MAC Night Divine and I'm going to put that right in the middle in between the two colors just so it's a nice easy ombre transition into the lighter and the darker color. And I spray that with MAC Fix Plus as well just so it's all kind of that shiny vibrant color so it all looks perfect. I'm using a lot of MAC um, eyeshadows, it kind of just happens, but I'm using the Carbon eyeshadow and I'm putting that in the crease as well as the outer V of my eye just to create more definition so it's an easy kind of like smoked out crease kind of look. Um, but yeah, it's a nice, this Carbon color is definitely a staple color in everyone's um, eyeshadow collection because it is that nice deep, well not deep, it's black. But um, it's a nice matte black for every eyeshadow look just to really make that look just more, what's the white word? More defined. There it is. I cannot talk today. Today's been a long day. And here I'm just going to blend out all those colors just so it's an easy transition into each one and it doesn't look too choppy and you can't tell where the actual color ends.
Then for primer, I'm taking the Kat Von D Lock It Featherweight Primer. And I really like this. It's a nice, light primer. Um, and so far I'm loving it. It really does work and makes my foundation last the whole day. Especially today. Today's Christmas and it's been crazy and my foundation still looks pretty fresh. Um, and then of course I'm just going in with my Too Faced Born This Way foundation. Same as always, I'm taking my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I'm obsessed with this concealer. It does not cake up at all and it doesn't feel like you have anything on. Uh, yeah, so just putting that on and blending it out with my Beauty Blender. I'm just taking my Laura Mercier Secret One Brightening Powder and just using that to set my concealer. Then I'm using my MAC Studio Fix Foundation to set my liquid foundation. Then I'm taking Night Divine again and I'm going to put that in the outer corner of my bottom lash line. And then I'm going to put that silver fog in the inner corner of my eye just to brighten up the inner corners. taking my Lancome Hypnos Drama Mascara and I am obsessed with this lately. I really like how it separates every lash and doesn't look clumpy and overall I'm just obsessing with this. I definitely need to go and get the full size. taking my MAC blush in margin and now I'm taking my MAC oh darling highlighter and I haven't used this since I got it so I decided that I was going to do that today and this is my new Hakuhodo and Sephora Pro brush it is the where's the box the small teardrop pointed highlighter it's the Kutsubu I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but this uh, highlight uh, brush is amazing. It really does pack on that color and gives you that nice glow. Now I'm taking my Jeffree Star Androgyny Liquid Lipstick, and this is my favorite color of all time at the moment. Um, I would say it is like the little sister of Lolita, and there's some on my teeth. Um, this liquid lipstick is a little, it's 
a really watery liquid lipstick at first um, so it does get on your teeth when you kind of smack your lips together to spread the color onto your top lip um, but I really like it it dries really nice and it does not feel like you have anything on your lips and it does last pretty much the majority of the day I also really do like the applicator it really does hug the lip perfectly and gives a really nice application I am struggling a little bit on here though, um, the bottom lip always gets me the most. But yeah, I really do like this applicator and it's really flexible, it's not too stiff like the other ones. Then to set the makeup, I'm using my Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. Alright, so that's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.